Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sunkara. In this video, we are going to learn a case law on Order 5, Rule 17 of the CPC. Of course, Section 27 of the General Class Act also will apply. The important point is whether the notice returned as unclaimed is deemed to be refused or not. This is a matter of discussion which came to the level of the Supreme Court. Please remember. <laughs> so, in the case of which Priyanka Kumari Priyanka Kumari versus Shailendra Kumar Honorable Supreme Court held that when the notice is returned as unclaimed, it is uh, deemed to be proper service. It should be taken as a, it should be taken as a service. That's all. So, while dealing with the particular case of Priyanka Kumari versus uh, Shailendra Kumar, in uh, <coughs> WP number transfer petition actually, so 2090 by 2019, dated 13 10 2023 so honorable <coughs> so before the register okay now the honorable supreme court of india held that unclaimed is equal to refusal is equal to service proper service so when you go through order 5 and uh, particularly rule 17 of the CPC, that is the procedure of service of summons on the party, particularly on the defendant. So let us know what is written there, right? It shows where the defendant or his agent or such other person refuses to sign the acknowledgement, number one, when they refuse to sign the acknowledgement or where the Serving officer cannot find, of course, after taking so many efforts or after due diligence, cannot find the person who is absent from his residence, then the service is said to be when he refuses or when he is not found. And uh, if the serving officer finds an affidavit in this regard, yes, it is deemed to be proper service. Refusal. You can't refuse. You are supposed to abide by the court law, is it not? By the dicta of the court. No doubt summons, after all you know, summons is a process or a letter or a request from the court requesting you to appear before the court on particular date eh, to tell the facts which are known to you or to stand as an accused or to stand as a defendant and some things like that. You have to take, you have to pay obedience to the court, appear before the court, maybe through your advocate or maybe personally and answer the court, that's all. Why should you say no? Why should you refuse? Why should you say unclaimed? Unclaimed means normally. Here the important point is whenever you say unclaimed, the person is there but he is not saying. So what happens is suppose if somebody files a case against uh, Mr. Sunkara Sai Baba, right? The <coughs> process server tries to serve the notice on Sai Baba. Sai Baba, no, I am not Sai Baba. I am Shankar Sai Baba or I am Sai Babu. No, wait, wait. no, I don't want it. If he says like that also, it is unclaimed. Second point, if the family member, elder member is there, he says, Sai Baba, no, no, he is not available. Oh, we don't want, no, we are not concerned, go. So this is what is called unclaimed. That means the person has the knowledge about the whereabouts of the concerned person and definitely they wanted to avoid. So court will not accept. This is equal to service of the summons, right? So, in this particular case, please remember, the Honorable Supreme Court relied on the very famous case, K. Bhaskaran versus Shankaran Vajjabalan and another 1999. Supreme Court, please remember. So, actually another case, Ajit Seeds Limited versus K. Kopal Krishnaya, 2014. There, they have clearly interpreted Section 27 of the General Clause Act and also 
section 114 of the evidence act 1872 right section 114 deals with uh, to presumptions you all know presumption so in the common course of natural events communication sent by post would have been delivered at the address of the addressee normally if it is delivered at the address yes it is deemed that the accused has come to know about the same then section 27 of the general laws act please remember whenever you are not able to find any solution to your case you can to your definition or other thing you can approach the general laws act that is the most important general laws act 1897 it gives rise to a presumption that service of notice has been effected when it is sent to the correct address by the registered post please remember so even in spite of the return in spite of the service in spite of the service he refused yes it can be taken as a service so this is the interpretation given by the honorable supreme court of india in this particular recording right then the word refusal can be interpreted in synonym with the so called unclaimed so don't think that it is not proper or so called incomplete service the word refusal can be interpreted in synonymous terms as the word unclaimed as held by the honorable supreme court of india in the above decisions when a notice is served to the proper party in the proper address of the addressee it shall be deemed to be served unless contrary is proved so when the notice is returned unclaimed that means it is served properly right so now he has to appear before the court or he has to prove the wrath of his court so please remember for a simple matter normally all of you know unclaimed will be coming across so many of course by experience we can say that it is refusal but when the point has come and up to the level of the supreme court and the honorable supreme court has decided the matter so he can cite it as a precedent okay so please remember order five rule 17 deals with the so called uh, deals with the refusal refusal is equal to unclaimed if you know this much it is sufficient thank you